Hey guys, this is your host, Carlisha Ferguson. You, you, this is your co-host, Isaiah. And we are the Still, Still Figuring, Figuring It, it Out, Out podcast. podcast. Let's go. So today's topic, we're going to talk about our first apartment. Yeah, when you think you're grown <laughs> and you have no idea. No, we was grown. It was a learning experience. First off, our first apartment was on the other side of the country. We are originally from New York. It was on the other side of the country? Yes. The country? Uh, yes, the country. We was in St. Louis, Missouri. No, it wasn't even, it was Earth City, Missouri. Probably like 10 minutes out of St. Louis. So, we get this apartment. No, Mind let's start you. how we get it, though. I mean, I'm going to speak my piece first. How about we speak it from my point of view? Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> so, basically, I fly down to St. Louis. My husband gets surgery on his knee. And he can't do anything. He's just thinking this surgery is going to be one, two, three. I'm going to come out. We're going to. thought it was going to be a walk in the park. Okay. We're going to have dinner. We're going to be able to go out, view the town. We have the surgery. He can't even get out of bed. He can't even go to the bathroom. So we're living in this hotel. What hotel was that? Expensive high-end hotel. Just know that. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. So we're living in this hotel. Living off. Of, we're living like college students, basically. We're eating pizza all night. Lasagna from um this restaurant called Emo's. Yeah. It was so good. It really was. Oh, my God. <laughs> we eat McDonald's. We're just eating all this fast food every night and day. And um that's where I gained about, like, 30 pounds there. So, I was losing weight. Shit, I had surgery. <laughs> I couldn't really eat nothing. So we were so uncomfortable, and our son was about to fly in the very next day. And it's like, okay, we can't raise a toddler. He was about, what, one, two? About two. And um, he just, I'm like, we can't have a toddler in a hotel. This is just not going to work. Basically, we go apartment. I go apartment looking. I find an apartment. I get the property manager to come back with me to the hotel <laughs> to get my husband to sign the lease. And um, she had to go upstairs. She was going to get that sale. She came to his bedside for him to sell. I don't know any property manager that leaves the property with the contract. Crazy. Crazy. I can't believe she did that. In this particular apartment, it was fully furnished. All we had to do was bring our clothes and our toothbrush. Just bring your toothbrush. That was life. <laughs> And um, basically, we were paying a lot of money for very little. I'm not even gonna lie. That's true. It was it was a nice environment, but it was too expensive. It was it was cool. First off, let me speak my piece about it. Um, everybody knows I was playing football. I got hurt. First preseason game. Um, this is just my point of view. Excuse me, I'm a little under the weather right now. <coughs> but this is my point of view. Played the preseason game or whatever. Mind you, I've been in that hotel already for about two months for training camp and rookie mini camp. So I was familiar with the room. I was familiar with the area. I was familiar with the hotel. It was a cool spot for me. Um, so I get hurt. I tear my ACL. I'm thinking it's going to be easy breezy. People saying, you know, people tear their ACLs all the time. You know, I'm still figuring it out. And I'm hurt. I've never been hurt before, especially this drastic playing football. So I'm telling her over the phone, like, yeah, but this is going to be easy. You don't even need to come down. You fly out for one day, get the surgery, go back about your business. I'll be good. Gets the surgery. Surgery was successful. I'm like, oh, no. I couldn't even feel my leg. Like, my whole <laughs> knee was damaged. Wait, gone you got to back up some. Because let's talk about how you came out of surgery. And you oh, were yeah, clapping. Yeah. When I came out of surgery, I was happy. <laughs> I was super. I was happy I made it out. What he you was mean? Clapping, like, I feel like I was in prison or saying, something. Saying, I... Thank you. Thank yes. you. I love this girl. She needs yes. to marry me. Yes. Uh, yes. I was high. Though. I don't I remember it, but I don't remember it. So pretty much um, after the surgery, we got back to the hotel. I was pretty good. I was still high up. Um, my knee and everything was still like numbed up and stuff like that. That next day, though, whew, I woke up. We in the hotel. I woke up. My knee was throbbing the entire day. I'm like, babe, I'm killing right now. I can't do nothing. I'm hurting. I'm like, oh, my God. So, at that point, we were trying to figure out if we want to stay in a hotel or get an apartment. Um, a hotel was pretty fun, but it's just, you know, you don't have your own kitchen. You know what I'm saying? It's you no don't place have a, for a kid. Yeah, you can't really bring your kid in there. It's going to be three of us in a hotel. It's, it's going to be kind of tight. It was a nice hotel, but it was just one room. It's like a studio apartment. 
So it was like we considered, you know, either getting an apartment on our own or staying in a hotel. After figuring it out for like two or three days, we decided to get the apartment. Like she was saying, most of the things in the apartment was already inclusive. Only thing we really had to do, literally, you could have brought your toothbrush and you was fine. The property manager lady, I guess she was like really crucial about getting me in there. She, she said she usually typically don't bring the lease to the, the, the possible applicant. You got to come out. But I guess my wife explained the situation to her. That was very persuasive. Okay? Yeah, she held it down. I can't even front. <laughs> She explained the situation to her, and she came up to the hotel. I'm hot up. I'm like, ma'am, I can't see you. What do I sign? She understood the situation. She understood I just got hurt. And I would have been able to sign that lease, but we weren't married Yeah, yet. we wasn't married at the time, so it was a little different. Yeah. So um, pretty much I signed the lease. Uh, we packed up. We was on our way in that next day or whatever. Um, we got to the crib. You know what I'm saying? She already told us it, including as far as the housing go, what was included it was uh, the cable was included electricity electricity was water. included water was included um it actually came with some food that was a little a little bit of food in the refrigerator we had like a little gift basket in yeah, there like a with starter kit like a little thing? starter kit yeah. um we had um washer and drying in and stuff like that that was kind of new to us and we i've found... never had a house with a washer <laughs> actually i did crazy. but i've been allowed <laughs> to use it so so we had like a washer and drying in there the only thing we had to do was pay that one bill which was considered the rent check every month, and the people it covered everything. It covered everything. The people that own the apartment. It even came with the furniture, bed, um, couch, TV, cable boxes, cable boxes, <laughs> like everything was literally curtains, blinds, curtains, blinds, everything that you. Got. I think wait, even pots and pans. <laughs> pots and pans. I, <laughs> I was like, yo, this shit is ill, well, right here. That was like one of the best experiences. I think I got spoiled after that. And it was in a nice little community too. We was kind of like. Like, our first apartment was really out the hood, too, so that was a good feeling. It was really, like, a lot of older people, real laid back, you know what I'm saying? It looked like it a, a cool retirement. Vibe. Yeah, like a little retirement vibe where a lot of older people was at. And they um, couldn't figure out what we did for a living. They didn't. Yeah, they didn't know. They was like, well, how do these people get in here? We, we would like, leave together. We, we would everything together. Come, go grocery they had, like, shopping together. a basketball together. court. And yeah, we would that. always be together. And it was like no one went out to work or no one left in the morning early. Nothing. It was, they were looking at us like, what do they do? Do they sell drugs? No. I don't <laughs> think that. No, we don't sell drugs. <laughs> but anyway, we, um, they had the basketball court. They had a tennis court. They had like a lake view kind of area. Yeah, they did. What else they had? No, oh, the gym. We was getting it in once I got healed up. I, matter of fact, I was training her while I was hurt, actually. You did. As I was walking around, I was getting her right. She wanted to get on her little weight loss journey. And I was helping out with that. Um... But just being there, that overall experience was pretty cool. It was just like our first time together, you know, instead of living in her mom's house in a room, we was actually in our own space. So it that was... was a, it, just, it was like <coughs> something awoken in me. Like, when I got a little taste... It's true what your mom say, ladies. When you get that first taste of freedom, it's nothing like it. It's like a forbidden apple. You just bite from it, <laughs> and you just can't go back. Like, I was in a Matrix. I think I'm still in the Matrix. I don't know if I could ever... Be under the same roof for an extensive amount of time with another female. Because I feel like there can only be one queen in the queendom. So what about like if you went to college? You would have had your own apartment? I would have had to come back to my own apartment. Yes, I would have. Mm-hmm. I just, you can't. You can't go back. Once you get, you had steak, you can't go back to Roman noodles. Oh Nobody's doing that. Who's doing that? <clears throat> but I can't lie. That experience was dope. It was just, you know, to have our own little apartment. You know what I'm saying? We had a one bedroom. It was a cool little vibe. Like, you know what I'm saying? Our son eventually had came down. So it was like our tight-knit family, you know, out there still trying to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? And it was a cool experience. We ended up staying there for how long? About three months? Mm-hmm. We ended up staying there for three months. And then we decided to go back home and rehab. It was like a an impulse decision for us to even go back. We just kind of was sitting around and we're just looking around. It was like, hmm, you want to go back home? <laughs> so all together we was in... St. Louis for three Well, I was out there for you before you, so I was yeah. out there like two months. Old. I was out there five. You was out there for what, like three? Three. <laughs> and the midst of us being out there, the only thing that we had to do that was real responsive, uh, being a responsible boss is I just had to go to therapy every day. And that was fine. Once we went to therapy, from there we would just go out, explore Yeah, Saint we Louis. would go explore, take our son out. They have the best zoo. Yeah, Shout out to the St. Louis Zoo because yeah, I'm still zoo thinking about that zoo because that zoo had yeah. me just going. <laughs> so they had the best zoo ever, and um, yeah. Was we better than the Bronx Zoo? Of course. 
Yeah, that's the worst dope though. I can't even. But lie. we still didn't get to do the. Um, Excuse me. What was it? The hot air balloon. We were trying to do the hot air balloon, but we didn't it didn't work. Out. But we did go. Um, and that's one thing about moving away. Yeah. When you think you're grown, you got to consider all the facts that factor facts. into that. Because a lot is gonna change. Because we would have sitters on sitters on sitters. It was just there was never a time we couldn't. We couldn't move or we when couldn't we moved, go. We didn't have no sitter. Nobody. Because you don't want to just leave your kid with just anybody. Facts. Because today's world is there. Even if you go on those websites, what, nanny.com? I was looking at that at one point. We were. <laughs> we were thirsty to get out. Once I got up but walking it, around a it little bit. <laughs> I just couldn't see it happening. We were trying to do background checks on people and everything. It was like, you know what? Nah, we can't trust We them. just couldn't do it. So going back home for those reasons played a factor, too. But at that time, it was just a cool little vibe just to be in a whole nother city that we wasn't familiar with. We had to learn. We ended up going horseback riding. Um, just being out there and going to the different restaurants and stuff like that. Was Seeing really, really something cool. different. Just, you know, I, that was my first time actually ever being away from home. Did you know that? Yeah, that's crazy. I never so I, was. I'm actually happy she came. I was up, never away from home yeah. for that long. As far as living wise. You've exactly. Been, I've never been. On been vacation. Yeah, I mean, I've been on vacation, but I've <laughs> never been away from home, like with my stuff and just actually yeah. moving out. How and, was that for you, though? Like, on the real, though? Um, that was, that was a bit challenging. Was it was you dealing with a lot like mentally like oh my god can I really do this I can't yeah I was just nervous because at that part I was still transitioning to uh, I'm not working I'm home uh, what am I doing with all this downtime all I knew oh, was yeah, work yeah, yeah. so true. all I knew was I gotta work I gotta make this money I gotta take care of my family I gotta take care of my baby to not having to do anything but get up and take my husband to therapy <laughs> that was really it. That was your job. <laughs> Taking you to therapy and food shopping. <coughs> when I tell you when he was down, I actually got to really know myself. Like, I got some good alone time. I would go to Fridays. I would go to all different kind of restaurants. I would go to um, Texas Roadhouse. I would just Spend sit at the check. bar and just have some happy hour and just be with myself. Before then, I never really was by myself a lot. I actually got to enjoy myself. Don't get me wrong. I did miss my friends, but... It was it was just nothing like that getaway. Like I actually got away. Sometimes I gotta get away. And I just felt so I felt free in a sense. I missed my family because I mean my mom, she helped me out a lot with my son. But it was nothing like that just being a woman of my house. And when I tell you you get invited at Apple or Freedom. Was it like a culture shock for you though? Because I went to college, so it wasn't it wasn't that much of a transition for me because I've been out, like you know what I'm saying. And pretty much you have been. You've been out for a while. Yeah, so it's like I'm kind of familiar to being away from the crib and not being around your immediate family all the time, every day. Like I, I had to figure things out on, when I was younger, like you know what I'm saying. So, like, how did that change your mindset though? Like, I never really asked you that. I just feel like it made me feel like I had to be more responsible. I had to make sure we had food in the house. I didn't have to do these things before because there's somebody else over me doing that. I didn't have to worry about what are we going to eat today? What are we going to do? I literally had to plan out our days. And, okay, he needs to get his medicine. I need to go get his refills. I need to do this for Makai. We need to set some family time aside. So it was just, it helped me kind of level up a little A little bit. It helped me level up a little bit as far as, like, womanhood, in a Mm. sense. So that was, like, two notches up from where I was before. Because truthfully, in all honesty, no disrespect to everybody that's at home still, you really can't be a woman in somebody else's house. Facts. It's just impossible. You can't be a man in somebody else's house. And I like to let my nuts hang, man. Oh, my God. (laughs) You just can't. It's just impossible. And you have a spouse. You have a baby. Those things, if you have to do what you have to do for right now. It should be temporary. Exactly. Never permanent. Because at the end of the day, I always wanted my mom to get her life back, in a sense. Mm. I was like, oh, she's going to get her life back. You know, I felt like it was a burden. Me, my baby, I had a younger brother. And I just felt like I needed to flourish. So when I actually left, I think it kind of shocked her. Like, oh, my God, she doesn't need me. <laughs> so it was a bit, it was, it was a bit challenging for me. But you know what? Nevertheless, I enjoyed every minute of it. I ain't going to lie. If we can do it all over again, I don't think I would have came back. You think we should have stayed in St. Louis, though? I think we should have stayed in St. Louis. Mm, hell no. I'm not staying in old St. Louis. You kidding me? Why? I mean, it was I'm a good starting vibe. to like Nelly. No. <laughs> that shit was... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it would have worked out. I can't even lie. 
It's so funny. Another thing about St. Louis, too, we got our first apartment. I bought my first car. Oh, yes. That's two first things in St. Louis right there. That's a yes. milestone. That I could we think rented back. that other car. Like, it was yeah, ours we, forever. Yeah, we, we had that for, like, two months straight. When I finally bought my car, I was happy in that moment. It made me feel like I finally made it. But um, besides that, that's a whole nother and podcast. And the sad part was you couldn't even drive it. Yeah. I my was leg was messed it. up, so I wasn't really tripping about it. I was just happy to finally get it. Yep, that's pretty much how that goes. But, I mean, just thinking about my first apartment, though, that was that was a good first start. That was a great first start, actually. Yeah, because, you know. It, but it kind of really tricked us a little bit, too, because when we actually got our, our second apartment, we had to, like, call a, uh, the phone company, call the cable company. Call electric company to pay these bills. When yeah, we, we actually got our had to. We just paid one lunch. That kind of like spoiled so us a little, little bit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The so first apartment. But when we got the second one, reality hit our ass. <laughs> because was it wasn't somebody coming to the door to take your rent or just an automatic draw out. You had to go to the bank, withdraw the money, and yeah. you're going to put it in my account. It was one of those. But it definitely, <laughs> all in all, I can say no matter where we lived, it always felt like home. Because I feel like all of yeah. us was there. Like, it always yeah, had that. a homely feel. Facts. 